the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter number 35. Are you ready? <laughs> oh, glory. Glory. Isaiah 35 and verse 1. The wilderness and the solitary place shall be glad for them. You see, God has ordained you to be a transformer anywhere you are. God has ordained for you to make a difference anywhere you are. And this word you are hearing right now, coming your way, is to enforce the fulfillment of God's plan for you to become a transformer, regardless of your past, anywhere you are today. The wilderness and the solitary place shall be glad for them. And the desert shall rejoice and blossom as the rose. The wilderness and the solitary place, the dry place and the empty place, the place where nobody is seen or maybe found, shall be glad for them. And the desert shall rejoice and blossom as the, as the rose. Look at that. The desert shall rejoice. The place of emptiness shall rejoice. Because of a group of people that are coming. And the desert shall blossom as a rose. An envy of all. <laughs> it shall blossom abundantly and rejoice. Even with joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given to it. That which men have labored for and attained shall be taken from them and given to these empty dry places. This shall be fulfilled in your life today. The glory of Lebanon shall be given to it, the excellence of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord and the excellence of our God. This is the plan of God for you because until they see you, they will see God. When Jesus came here in John chapter 14 and verses 8 and 9, one of the disciples came to him and said, Master, show us the Father and we will be okay. That will be sufficient for us. Jesus, with a smile, said to him, Philip, have I been such a long time with you and yet you have not seen the Father? You are still asking me for the Father. If you have seen me, you have seen the Father. The reason why I came here is to show the Father to you. And that plan has not changed forever. It is the plan of God for his sons to show him to the world. Hear me, hear me well. It is the plan of God for everyone who see you as a child of God to see your father. Some people say like father like son. They should see you and see your father. He says, <laughs> God is about to reveal the excellency of God to the world through your life. I don't care who you are. You say me. Yes, I mean you. I mean you. I don't care your story. The one who picked Joseph out of the prison and the same day established him a king over a nation, he can do anything. <laughs> the one who put a child in the womb of a virgin without any man's help does not need the help of any man to put you where he has ordained for you or to bring into your life the things he has prepared for you. There was nobody in view to do for Mary what God did for her. And I'm telling you, even though there's nobody in view to do for you what God wants to do, nothing will stop God as God from doing for you what he has prepared to do in your life. That shall be your testimony. No man will share the glory with our Father in the name of Jesus Christ. He says, shall blossom abundantly. That's your story. Your life might have been before everyone around you like a desert, like a wilderness, like a solitary empty place, a place of loneliness. But he says, you shall blossom abundantly and you shall rejoice. Even with joy and singing, you have been crying and weeping and mourning and grasping your teeth every day because of poverty, because of sickness, because of unending sorrow and catastrophe around your life. But hear me, 
the one who cannot lie sent me to tell you this good news that you shall blossom abundantly. I didn't hear you, Amen. You shall blossom abundantly and rejoice. And you will rejoice with the joy and singing. He says, The glory of Lebanon, that which others have labored and planted and grown and grown <laughs> into a world class attraction center. The glory of Lebanon, what they have bragged about as their accomplishments. <laughs> he says, God will pick it from them and he shall give it to you. The glory of Lebanon shall be given to you. Hear me, men have labored for you. Jesus Christ said in John chapter 4. He said, I've sent you to reap. Others have labored. I am sending you to go and reap where they have been sending labor. Men have labored for you, but hear me. They thought you were out and out for good. But hear me, my God will amaze them. The prodigal son went away, just like you and I went away. Wandered in dry places, having lost everything. Meanwhile, the senior brother and all the father's higher servants were at work, working for him that knowing. When he returned to his father's house, the best robe was given to him. The best shoe, sandal, was given to him. The only ring of authority the father had was given to him. Above all, the preserved father calf was slaughtered for him. A party that the father had never, before that time, you know, celebrated was organized on behalf of this body guard. Men labor. He just came back and entered into their labors. You walked away for such a long time, but today, by this word, you have walked back into your place in destiny. And what men have labored for, I decree they transfer the same to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Companies built by men, you are going to occupy and rule over those companies. I don't care what you your qualification is not necessary. I say your degree is not necessary, it's not needed. The one who could break every protocol, remove every CV hurdle, and place Joseph as a king over a nation that he was a stranger in, will do the same for you. Men will say, what is his qualification? We don't care. He's going to be the head. And that is you. In the name of Jesus Christ. By this word, I just open strange doors for you. From today, strange calls that you can't discover where they're coming from will come to you to pick you from where you are, to place you where you must be. Nobody had the phone call, contact of Joseph, yet the call from the king did not pass him by. I don't care whether they have your phone contact or address or not. The only way God has ordained for them to reach you, they will get to you through that means. And you are going to enter into a place you never could believe will ever be your place in life. In the name of Jesus Christ. He says, shall bless abundantly and rejoice, even with joy and singing. And the glory of Lebanon shall be given to it. The excellency of Camel and Sharon. They shall see and they shall see the glory of the Lord. They shall see it. The glory of the Lord and the excellency of our God. That is your story from today. <laughs> In the name of Jesus Christ. He says, strengthen ye the weak hands. That's what I've come to do. Strengthen ye the weak hands. The hands that can hold money in their hands. They are so weak. Somebody is bringing a blessing. They are unable to strengthen their hands and receive it. This a strength he has sent me to release to you that will make it impossible for you to fail to receive any blessing prepared for you. There are some people whose spiritual hands are so weak that even though there's a blessing meant for them, stretched out to give to them, they can't be able to stretch their hands to receive it. So it is withdrawn. Every force from the pit of hell that in any way may have been responsible for the weakness of your hand to hinder you from receiving and collecting the things prepared for you. Today they have lost you. Ah, they have lost you. As people have stroke physically, there are some people who have spiritual stroke. Their hands are feeble. Their hands are weak. There is no strength. So even though you give them a blessing, they can't receive it. If they try to hold it, it will fall off their hands and the enemy will pick it again. No matter the reasons responsible for your sufferings, 
akino ida ila ndo sakomba hina sita hii go gangle mbra glofle tano sakomba na nisha kita ya no matter the reasons that may be responsible for your deep pressures in life you will spread for your hand to receive what is yours and yet he carry you all those things are ended right now he said to me strengthen ye the weak hands confirm the feeble knees say to them that are of a fearful heart be strong fear not behold you are go we come with vengeance even go with the recompense it will come and it will save you then the eyes of the blind shall be open and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped the other word then shall the lame man leap as a heart and the no and the tongue of the dumb shall sing for in the wilderness shall waters break out <laughs> in the wilderness they have done all they can to keep it a dry land he said it shall be an outburst that will break forth and uh, erupt everywhere you know why because of a spiritual tornado built up within that becomes irresistible to force out itself from where it has been kept i don't care what and what may have subjected you under today you are burst forth you are burst through in the name of jesus christ this is your story this is your story he said, then shall the, 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 the lame man live as a heart. And the tongue of the dog shall sing, for in the wilderness shall waters break out, and streams in the desert. And the parched ground shall become a pool, and the thirsty land springs of water. In the habitation of dragons, where each lay shall be grass with reeds and rushes. Hmm. And the highway shall be there, and the way a highway shall be there. You see, highways make the journey short. Highways make the journey short. When you're on a highway, you gain speed. A highway is what God has ordained for you because every form of hold up has come to an end forever in your lives. Whatever forces held you up, slowed your speed, Slow down your pace. Reduce you to a crawler. Today they are off your way. A highway shall be there. Created by the Lord. Paved by the Lord. By the word of his servant. He has sent me to pave ways for you. And I decree today by the word of the Lord who sent me. Whose ambassador I am. I am his mouthpiece. When I speak, he speaks. When I speak, it is the Lord speaking. Because he wore himself on me as a weird Lord. Who became one. Second of August 1996. He came to me to the top of the mount over there as I saw you watch. As I watched him, he did amazing things to meet the needs of the people. And the point is stopped. And two of us, I don't know, but he just merged in seven to me and we became one. Spirit, same spirit, same soul, same body, same power, same as I was putting on his clothes. And he continued to do what he was doing before. Now in me and through me. And the point is stopped and said, Yeah, now you've seen me. That is what you are sent to do. You are my ambassador. Go and do what you're me to do. I am here because he must touch you today. I am here because you must hear his voice today. I am here because he must do in your life what he planned to do before he created you. And I'm telling you, as the Lord lives today, a highway that you will just, I mean, speed on until you, are, you get to where you are going to is open for you today in the name of Jesus Christ. He says it shall be called a highway. And the way, and it shall be called the way of holiness. Nothing pollutes destiny than sin. Nothing stops speed, hinders speed like sin. Sin makes a man a current life. God has ordained to destroy whatever is sin in your life, to give you speed in life. And today, by reason of the blood of Jesus Christ, I decree whatever pollutes lives and destinies, they'll be destroyed in your lives in Jesus' mighty name. It shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for those the welfare of men. No fools shall not miss it. They shall not enter it. No lion shall be there, no devourer, no beast. He said, No, any ravenous beast shall go up there. It shall not be found there, but the redeemed shall walk there. 
And the ransom of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with songs and everlasting joy. Upon their heads, they shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Today is market the terminal date of your being in sorrow. In his presence is fullness of joy. At his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. You are unqualified for the life of pleasure until you are free from sorrow. You are unqualified for the life of pleasure all the days of your life and not your years until you are free from sorrow. I therefore decree whatever disqualifies you from enjoying his pleasures, they are destroyed today. And by the power of God, it is declared done. Right now, in Jesus' mighty name, I celebrate you. Because I know you are a celebrity. I don't care how you think or what you think or how you see yourself. You are a celebrity. And I declare it so. And not only I, but men, even your mockers, will celebrate you from today in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is so, no other way. In Jesus' most powerful name. Rejoice. Again, I say unto you, rejoice. Give God thanks for his love. What manner of love has the Father bestowed upon us that we should be called his sons and daughters? That's what you are. You look at it and say, I am God's son. And whatever any good father cannot withhold from his child, our loving father can never withhold sword from you. From this day, you have entered into a new realm of life. He sent me to make heaven now a reality for all. And that is your story. You are going to see the full expression of heaven on earth from this day forward. Whatever is not in Christ as he is in heaven will never be seen in you as you are here. Whatever is not in heaven as heaven is now from this day forward will be absent in any environment where you are in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm only a messenger. I don't speak parables. He sent me to preach the everlasting gospel to all, everywhere, to stop anything after man's destruction. Send me to bring healing, deliverance, and liberty, and restoration to all, to raise, to build, and to plant all, as Christ and Messiah anywhere, everywhere, and to restore all things. Unless he didn't call me, unless he didn't send me. What Christ will do now, that I'm sent to do now, you will experience it from now. In the name of Jesus Christ. When Jesus came out of the grave, he announced to the hearing of heaven, to the hearing of all in hell, and to the hearing of every creature. He says, all power in heaven and on earth is now mine. The power that rules heaven is now in my hand as his carrier and ambassador. When I speak, heaven has spoken. When I say it, heaven has said it. And uh, whatever power be that may have been a challenge to molest your life, not what you can stand. Because his kingdom and his power and glory rules over all. His kingdom rules over all. Psalm chapter 103 and verse 19. His kingdom rules over all. And God rules over all by his power forever. Psalm 6, 6 and verse 7. He rules by his power forever. His kingdom rules over all. So when I appear as his ambassador sent from heaven to share this truth with you, nothing on earth can stop the total fulfillment of every word I utter. That is why I want you to know that from now, you are in for a surprise. Say when the Lord turned against their captivity, they thought they were dreaming, yet it was real. Your life is turned around like a dream of the night, yet it is real. Hear me and hear me well. I declare you an envy of all from this day forward. People will look at you and wonder if God is partial. <laughs> In the name of Jesus Christ. Well, I bless you. I have said to bless. I bless you. I bless you. It is the blessing of God that makes rich and has no sorrow. I bless you. You will see life and know that real living is found in Christ. That's your story from this day forward. I bless you from my heart. I bless you. Just be blessed. I am already rejoicing because I know it's a new day for you. The stone that the builders rejected became the chief cornerstone. 
you that they have despised and without hope, God is going to make you a lifter of their of them. <laughs> They saw you, they despised you. They rejected you, they turned you out. Where from them, they said, we take it out of here. From this day, those that called you for safety, they will seek after you from now. My God has turned your life around forever. And it is declared on right now. In Jesus' mighty name. Receive it, that's your portion. Glory, glory, glory. Don't forget, connect with all of my videos. Go to heavennow.org slash tv and watch all of my messages subscribe and i tell you a new day is done upon you in jesus mind don't forget this is an ambassador promise broadcasting live from jesus missionary orders this is the place to be right now god bless you in jesus name amen